Hello everyone. In today's video, I am going to talk about shats and how you can use them in manifestation. I will explain how I use this technique to manifest my video going viral. First of all, thank you all for joining this video. Without wasting any time, let's begin. What is shats then? State similar to sleep is referred to by the acronym shats. Neville Goddard, a spiritual leader in the 1940s, came up with the phrase. In all of his lectures and books, he frequently brought up the shats, and it appears that this was his most effective teaching strategy. He achieved incredible results each and every time he used it. It's crazy how quickly he fulfilled all of his desires, between three and seven days. Amazing instant success stories have happened to me. One happened to just a few days ago. My video blew up the day after I tried using shats, so it's really, really scary, and I still use it every day, and my subscriber count is growing and growing. I am still in a state of shock that it still worked, but I believed in it, so here I am. So, what exactly is static into sleep? You might be wondering, the time when you experience a state of consciousness that is very similar to the sensation of drowsiness we experience just before going to sleep at night. Our minds are so open to ideas and so at ease in this state that we can literally manifest anything by visualizing it. As a result, things happen so much more quickly and with little to no effort. I want to discuss the latter method because it best illustrates what chats are. During his lectures, Neville Goddard would frequently discuss the latter technique. Although this method is crucial, it was never mentioned in his books, which I find extremely intriguing. But he would make those who came to his lectures practice this method for three days. In other words, he basically got them to imagine climbing a ladder every night before bed. He persuaded them to declare, I am not, I am not climbing a ladder, the following day. He concluded his request by saying, if you did not climb a ladder within these three days in your 3D reality, do not come back to this lecture. I am not climbing a ladder. Every single person returned to the lecture, demonstrating the effectiveness of the shats. For three days straight, they affirmed against it literally, yet they still managed to climb a ladder. This is just fascinating how well this works. Then Neville simply said, you could have done the same thing visualizing being a millionaire when everyone eventually returned to the lecture. Funny thing is, it didn't even take me three days when it happened to me. My video started to blow up the next day after I successfully dozed off in the state of having my wish fulfilled. What did I do now? I've just had a vision of 100,000 subscribers. I didn't experience any joy or excitement. I was completely emotionless. I had no opinion about it. I didn't just believe it. I also just believed it. It was only a mental image, and I was able to go from the state of drowsiness that occurs just before sleep into sleep while keeping that image in my head on repeat until I dozed off. And in order to successfully manifest anything using shats, you must do just that. When I tell you that my video had maybe 100 views and a few comments, it literally took off and I immediately started seeing my view count, my comments, and my subscribers' views. Neville Goddard advises that we lie down in a comfortable position just before going to bed in order to achieve this state. The next step is to begin visualizing the scene that will lead to the result we want. I now advise making a loop of five seconds that you can play repeatedly. I don't believe it's necessary to engage in an excessively lengthy visualization. It's important to keep it simple. While Neville Goddard suggests using all of your senses, such as smell, touch, and taste, I personally don't think it's necessary. When I started applying this technique in chats, all I focused on was an image of manifestation with 100k subscribers beneath it. I aimed to simplify the process for myself because I lacked the energy to spend prolonged periods of time intensely imagining and feeling the scene. Surprisingly, even just holding that image in my mind as I drifted off to sleep was sufficient. During this process, it's common to feel drowsy and develop a desire to fall asleep, and that's perfectly fine. In fact, it's exactly what we want as our subconscious mind continues to work while we sleep. Consistency is the key to success with this technique, so it's crucial to practice it every night. We are reprogramming our subconscious mind to understand that as we practice this, the reality we want to see. Now, a few things to be aware of. Although I don't think it matters, 
I do think it helps if you have a sense of ownership over something. Now, but once more, I didn't experience this when I was using Shats. In fact, I actually felt like I was battling myself every time I did that, and my manifestation would never materialize. The only time I truly understood the power of simplicity was when I changed my strategy and began picturing a straightforward image or a brief scene rather than going through the elaborate process of walking up to the computer, sitting down, opening my laptop, seeing my channel on YouTube, and then looking down at 100k subscribers. I realized that a brief image or loop of what I wanted would be sufficient rather than losing myself in the sensation of having 100k subscribers. This method's beauty is that you can use it at different times, such as while taking a shower, doing the dishes, or even going for a walk. Aim to be in those moments when it feels right. Knowing that I could do this right before going to sleep personally felt liberating. I could simply visualize what I wanted in my mind, knowing that my subconscious mind would work on it throughout the night, reprogramming itself for eight hours, because I knew I had an eight hour sleep ahead of me. I'll take that right away. Another piece of advice I'd like to offer is to go to bed when you're actually sleepy and exhausted. I am aware that for many of you, that is not the case. Sometimes you have to go to bed at a certain time in order to wake up at a certain time, but it's really helpful if you can program your body clock and sleep schedule so that you know you'll be tired at 9 p.m. or whenever you want to go to bed. Additionally, it may be beneficial to drink some chamomile tea or another calming beverage. Keep some near garden or somewhere you find relaxing, taking a relaxing shower, or otherwise do whatever it takes to help you feel at ease and prepared for bed. Because I would only think about taking the shots when I was wide awake. And because forcing myself to imagine something would only further stimulate my mind, making it impossible for me to fall asleep. Therefore, it is such a hack to already feel sleepy. The only thing you need to know is that you need to imagine or mentally create a five-second loop, which suggests that you already have your desire and want to carry it through consciousness, drowsiness, and full unconsciousness. And in that case, your use of the shats was successful and your thing will arrive the very next day. Please don't berate yourself if you fall asleep and realize the next morning that you haven't used the shats because it's a long race, not a short race. That's all right. There's always a new night to start over, and you can do it. As always, this is a long race where we need to clam, not be in a hurry. I would be on and off for such a long time that sometime I felt frustrated and would literally know about chats a year ago. Now that I feel like I have truly mastered it, I know that every time I take the test, I was practicing and getting better at it. Check out my video from a few months ago where I discussed the chats as well. I believe that chats has made me more of a master but I do make some very good points in that video as well. Therefore, try using Neville Goddard's stave akin to sleep technique if you want to achieve your goals practically overnight. Keep in mind to remain concerned, detached, and focused. Recognize that everything is already finished and that you will receive your desired outcome the very next morning. I want you to give it a try tonight. Let me know how it goes the next day, and I promise you'll see your manifestation. So, we have taken full inspiration from Rita. Thanks to her for her beautiful video. Thanks to her we made this video. See you guys now in the next video. Bye bye and happy manifesting.